How's it going everybody? My name is Jarrell Lindsay, LeanFunctionalMuscle.com and I want to do a video today about static muscle control, SMC. Now, specifically with static muscle control, I want to go into REN training. Now, I got a couple of questions on the last video that I did because I said that I was going to do a video about REN training. Here it is! Oh man! We are going to go over what that actually means today. Um, right now. So, the reason I call it Ren Training is because I was watching Hunter x Hunter, for those of you who don't know, I'm a huge anime and manga nerd, and when I was watching Hunter x Hunter, Greed Island arc, where Gon and Kalua are about to go and fight uh, Shoot and Knuckle, and uh, they practiced all this Ren Training and practiced specializing all their nan and blah blah blah. I don't want to get into too much of the plot in case you guys want to watch it or in case you just don't care. Either way, they have something called Ren, which is basically your maximum power. Just shooting out as much energy from your body as you can. And the way that they trained for the fight with Shoot and Knuckle was by increasing the time that they could hold their max power. What might also make sense with that is if you think of Goku and Gohan, another anime reference, um, in the hyperbolic time chamber when they were in Super Saiyan mode so long that they their bodies acclimated to being Super Saiyan and they were able to hold that form with no effort. So I thought for a second, got the cogs turning. Okay, so if I use my maximum power in my body and try and hold it, how will that actually increase my strength? Now. There was no way that I was going to hold a maximum contraction for my full body for three hours like Gon and Kahlua did because that's kind of OP and incredibly unnecessary. But, for one, the law of irradiation. Allowing the power of one muscle to empower another muscle of a similar function, push, pull, or hinge, or whatever. Um, that is one thing that comes in handy with REN training. It helps your maximum contraction for your full body, and it allows you to use multiple muscle groups, which allows you to use different areas of nerves. It gets more of your essential nervous system involved into the exercise. So, what I decided to do was take a couple of movements that weren't really movements, they're more stances because they're isometric in nature. And what I do is I will assume that stance and I will flex my muscles from head to toe as hard as I possibly can. Now, a lot of this comes from the development of muscle control that I've been talking to you about, you know, taking your ability to flex one muscle and applying that to flexing a muscle group and applying that to flexing your full body and applying that to flexing your body through movement and applying that to explosively flexing you know there are a lot of levels to the muscle control so if you don't feel comfortable with your level of muscle control i would definitely recommend that you not try this exercise because um it looks like you're trying to do super saiyan and i honestly um, part of the reason that it's taken me so long to present the training to people, um, even though it's been shown to be very effective in my results and a lot of my friends' results, you kind of look a little ridiculous when you're doing the exercise. For instance, if I'm doing REN training and I'm flexing head to toe, it's going to look a little something like this. Yeah, um, explaining that to people might not necessarily be the easiest thing. How you look, kind of ridiculous. But if you want to go past all of that and go straight to the results, like I said, it involves the entire body. So it really drives home the point of not just building up the muscles,
but the nerves, the central nervous system. There have already been reports out on how isometric muscles, isometric exercises, isometric muscles, I guess isometric muscles will help develop the myelin sheath in the body. Um, so that's faster connections going throughout your muscles and all of your body speaking as one fluid language. I'm not teaching anything new, I'm just telling you all the things that your body already knows how to do and trying to help you remember it. Next video that I do is going to be actual videos of me going through a REN training routine. All I'll really do is pick some position, flex my whole body over the course of a minute. All it takes is a minute. The results that I got from a minute of training four times a week, insane. I got so much muscle in the course of August. Um, I'm still building up more. Um, I changed my tank training a bit in September, but I'm going more back to it now as November is starting. Um, back towards the REN training. Best results once you actually learn how to contract your body, how to use your body as its own training tool. So I would recommend that if you do have an interest in this training, you start with the fundamentals. Start with flexing muscles. Start with being able to apply your muscles through movement because this is a very advanced exercise. You're again flexing every muscle in your body at their max power for one whole minute. Don't take it lightly. But once you do attempt the exercise and once you succeed with the exercise, your results will show for themselves. Jarrell Lindsay, leanfunctionalmuscle.com and happy training. Subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you.